line over here? He said, uh, Justin, you will be in the middle of the blue line. <laughs> hustle, hustle. All right, class, we're going to play a game called British Bulldog. The object of the game is trying to run to the opposite side of the court, staying inside the boundaries. The boundary is the green line or the cone. You have to get past the other green line without being tagged. If you're tagged, you become it and stand in the middle and help tag everybody else. Last person standing is the winner. When I say go, run across without getting tagged. Go! Yeah. person with keeping the rope as a diamond on the outside of her ankles. Why don't you be the demonstrator? Okay. <laughs> I love the socks. Yeah. And you just keep spinning. On my, I'm going to spell out diamonds for y'all and then we're going to rotate. And then we're going to make it a challenge and see who can go higher and higher up on the person's leg. So if you want to go. Alright, first jumper ready? You ready, Justin? Alright. When I spell out diamond, jump. D. I. A. M. O. N. D. S. Alright, good job. Can you switch one of your uh, holders? Alright, new jumpers, ready? D, I, A, M, O, N, D, S. Alright, next jumper. Jump and stand on the rope. 
D I A M O N D S. Good job. All right, I need the person that retrieved the jump rope to return it to its area, and everybody else to run around. When I blow my whistle, the amount of times I blow it, that's the number of group I want you to get two to two with. You probably just saw this page. Mm -hmm. I don't want somebody watching the video thinking, oh, that's how to do diamonds. Yeah. It's not that good. I need two people from the group as holders on their knees on the outside of the poles like this, holding the pole with your thumb in it, fingers on the outside. You don't want to smash your fingers when we go to hit them. Yeah, you can. Are you? You got knee down, and then we're gonna go over the basic beat. The basic beat is just. Right, look, instead, instead of picking it up to clap, we're gonna just slide it along the boards for today, so, since we're beginners. So it's. Alright, now class, I'd like the first two holders to give it a try on my claps. Everybody else just watch for right now. Y'all will go next. Ready? Steps are going to be in, in, out, tap, in, in, out, tap, in, in, out, tap, in, in, out, tap. We're going to start off trying that without a beat. So if two people that aren't holding could line up on opposite sides facing each other, start with your right foot against the poles. You just go by yourself since you only have three. All right, on my beat, we're going to go without the poles moving, though. Just practicing just the steps. Boom, boom. One, two, three. 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 One. Y'all can clap on me, don't beat the poles. Yeah, don't try not to speed up. Yeah, we can go a little 
little slower than that for today. Alright, I'll start the beat for y'all so that way we can go slow. Ready? Boom, boom, clap. to hold the poles apart, they tend to roll together. Just hold them for them. Alright, practice. Boom, boom, clap. Boom, boom, clap. Go. One, two, three. 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 Cross over. Make sure you cross it over. Outside foot. Start with your outside, outside foot. So outside foot. Outside foot. Outside, outside, oh. two inside, look. Yeah, no, I can't do nothing about that, I'm sorry. Look, you just step with the outside first, then cross back over, then cross, tap, then the outside again. Cross, cross, so tap. Over and then behind? 
Oh, yeah, you can go in front. Whichever way is easier for you. It's easier to go front than back than front and front. It's All a right. great fine step and dance if you've been in Miss Joe's class. Holders, switch with dancers. 226. He does really bad. All right, now y'all practice. We're going to go boom, boom, clap. One, two, three. Cross, one, two, cross, three. step. Cross, cross, cross. Cross, cross, step. The people that are missing up there are going to be forced to do it. Okay, they come back to the There you go. No crossing in. Cross, cross, cross. Is that the way she was going, Craig? One, two, three. Y'all get it over here? No? Just step with the back go first. Come inside. Go out again. Tap. Then inside. Inside. Alright, we're going to try with the, uh, with the poles moving now. We just need two holders. Alright, y'all got to go real slow this time because they probably won't get it on that first try. Boom, boom, clap. Five minutes. Okay. You, you keep going until I tell you this. I just didn't want to start going into too far into the other side of the uh, like his stuff. No, that's okay. Keep going. All right, He's got to get deal with it. Next, we're gonna go with circling the poles. <coughs> Spread the poles forward. For circling the poles, you start off with a basic, the basic steps with your right foot. You go one, two, three, tap. Then you get a basic step forward and turn inwards to the pole. So that way you're facing the opposite person to go back the opposite way. So you step with the tap foot. One, two, three, tap. One, two, three, tap. One, two, three, tap. One, two, three, tap. 
One, two, three, tap. So on, you get that? Alright, now without the beat, I need two of y'all to try this and two people to hold the poles for them so they don't move. So they're not with them tripping over the poles. Start off on the opposite side of your partner. So it's the tap put that you're going to switch spots with them. If you put the weight all the way down, you can get all right. the extra points. Ready? Boom, boom. That was so Go. good. Step awesome. with your tap foot first. Yeah, there you go. Don't put, don't all right, put switch with your partners. The hell Dance. Like Toe only. Make sure you step in with your tap foot when you go to circle the pole. Yeah, start, start with your right foot. Come on, big right. two. Let's show them how to do it. Now y'all go. Boom, boom, clap. Boom, boom, clap. Boom, boom, clap. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. There you go. Alright, now we're going to do it with the beat. So I need two holders, two dancers. What? Not dancers, steppers. Steppers. They're not dancers. They yeah, look like dancers. Speed, <laughs> Speed steppers. Alright, y'all, we're going to go. Start off with a uh, slow beat for me, Justin. Got it. So now we're going 
try it with the sticks, all right? I'm gonna start it off right here. Y'all two keep going. All right, you ready? I'm gonna start the count. Go a little slow so people can get it. Ready?
we're going to basically do what Barry did earlier. We're going to try to combine everything. All right? Now, we're going to do simple. I want you to come here and do circle without running into each other. Now, take them out. We're going to start off slow. And then when you come here, we're going to do split. You do split twice. All right? So when I say, when I started off, why? Why didn't it work? Well, you go. Well, they're all going to end up running into the yeah. session. Yeah. Ready? You have to. They have to look at the first and get out of the second one. Okay. 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 Okay, we can go ahead and go to the Chinese jumper. Okay. We're not going to this jumper because they're not going to be successful. Let's see if you can't okay. participate in this one. Judges don't run around. Just find your buddy, whatever you want to do. Can I grab the pins or should I grab the balls? Uh, we don't have a mat, so you can't have pins yet. Unless you want to try those little plastic bowling pins. Yeah, all right, let's them spread out all over the uh, court. Those are not breakable. 
what we need to do is go put a mat in the Okay, let's see what I do. I want y'all to put a right now. Hold on one. Alright? So what we're going to do is we're going to practice throwing it up. Make sure it's thrown high and across your body. You're going to throw it and catch it with your other hand. Okay? Do that for a little bit. Once you get that down, try practicing throwing it with both hands as well. And what kind of juggling is this called? Cascade juggling. Very good. That's for everybody watching the video today. Right. It's that left hand that's the hard one. To All right. <laughs> Once you get that down back, pick up another flag. Get all these wonderful right, skilled athletes here. Throw it across your body and throw it high. All right, but well, while you throw that one, you throw the other one to catch it with your other hand. Make an X. Make an X, there you go. There you go. We got three. It takes a, you got to do two a few times before right, it becomes automated. Now I want you to try to do it consistently. Two in the row. Try to see how, how many times you can go. Yeah, you count to ten. Smooth, do right? it and count to ten. And you demonstrate how to do it with two consistently. Well, both hands. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he's, he's got it automated, doesn't he? He's right, automated. Guys, like, Wait, where is it? If y'all feel comfortable, try throwing it with three. Make sure you're going across the body, throw it as high as you can, all right? And look, there we go. Uh, and JT, how do you get that third one up there? Uh, you gotta, whenever you throw, all you, all you, after you throw, you just got to know you got to catch one. So whenever you come across, you come across and you catch that other one. But at the same time, your other arm's coming up and throwing the next one. So which hand do you start with two in? If you're right handed, you start with two in your left hand. Opposite hand. And I like to do this just, with my technique. Wow, I can't believe she picked that up so quick. And to start it easier, you want to pinch yes. the one with your the next finger and your middle finger. So when you throw it up, you can release it like that. So a little claw to get it started. There you go. Oh, yes. Yes. Well, we get a baseball player should be able to juggle baseballs, huh? Good job, guys. All right, of course, if he's not a pitcher, right. that might not be the case. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. He's going to be juggling pins before it's over with. I'll, I will have four or five people in this class that will be able to juggle basketballs by the end of the class, by the end of the semester. That's pretty cool. That's a nice demonstration. And especially my basketball girls should be able to do that. I, no, Mrs. Levon, I cannot juggle yet. You don't seem to do good. A basketball? Yeah, it takes all semester. I can't believe you picked that up the first day. Did you not just see me do that? Go guys. Woo. Woo. The the scarves go back in the